that's too high. Too low. Or just right. And the remote. There you go. Oh dear. Uh, scroll, 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 scroll. This is not as an exciting. Not as an uh, as exciting as a beginning as I wanted, but there we go. Um, anybody in chat know where El Segundo is? I don't. I have to check Google Maps. This is like too artsy for me. <laughs> There's just nothing behind me. Okay, guys, look. It's Dark Souls. Got it today. Oh, surprise appearance by Cat. Hear this awesome music. Ugh, oh, I love it. Here's a hack, guys. Play this game bright because it's going to get difficult later on. Oh, uh, sure, why not? I'm going to turn it down, actually. It's really loud, so. Um, defaults, yeah. Oh boy. Here we go. So, not to brag, guys, but I'm pretty into Dark Souls. Um, I usually choose Wanderer because I like having a dex based character. Let me see if I can scoot over a bit. Um, oh, I have an alert on my I have a notification. Someone left me a message. It's like uh, Scott Pilgrim right now. What does it mean? Um, so yeah, I'm usually going to go Thief first because of the dex boost. Actually, sorry, not Wanderer first. Because Thief is a bit low on endurance and strength and stuff. They have high dex, but like, as a Wanderer, you only have one less dex. You start with a shield. It's pretty cool. I mean, I guess you start with a shield with a knight too, but... Vitality's so high with knight, but... Actually, Warrior might be a good one to start. I don't know. If I do, if I do Bandit. What is this? 10, 11, 10, 10, 14. And this is... 11, 8, 12, 13, 13. Hmm. And you have a long sword. Actually, let's do a warrior. I haven't done that in a while. Um, obviously, here you choose the master ring because. Duh. Whoa! Oh, hey, 99. Just reset for four months. Thanks so much. I appreciate you. And I'm glad that you're here. Every time you're in chat and everything. Thanks so much. Four months. Wow. You're one of the originals. Yeah, I mean, they're different classes, kind of. It's not, like, it's not that big of a deal. Um, do we want to do fat rolls? Which are a thing. Tiny head. Top heavy. Um, I like doing average. Um, and in this case, I don't want to make a freakish monster, but I have in the past, so... Um, commoner, five fingers delta. It's funny because they give you these descriptions and you have a very little uh, interaction with it. Like all this stuff, like Katarina, where is that? Thorland, we don't really know. There's very little context to uh, like Karam and all this stuff. So, Thoughtful, mature face. I do not know what that means. Greats. <laughs> Looks like a, a weird baby. Um, eerie Great Swamp. Great Swamp heretics face prejudice for their atypical looks. Well, that's just racist. Far East Traveler. Land of almond eyes and thin lips. He actually just looks like Ryan Reynolds, so. Uh, hair. Should we do like a, a sick flow? This is actually, guys, this is a, this is a Kingdom Hearts. Dubious Karam is incredibly pale. <laughs> I agree. Hey, Caitlin, by the way. Did you ever even get to see your guy? You do. You do. You see your person quite a bit. Sorry, I'm like a little bit to the side of my stuff. This is actually an Ansem slash Xemnas slash Xehanort slash... I don't know. What's the other one? <laughs> Ponytail. 
Should we should we make our guy a uh, sweat back color? Should we do a good old fashioned Ansem slash Xehanort? Customize. Uh, da da. Maturity. A little bit older. Hormones. So masculine. Actually, what are we talking about? If we're doing Xehanort. Oh dear. Apparently, feminine people are ghostly pale. Nice Deadpool. The features. Weak. Strong. I would say. Right there. Hair swept back. Silver. Great similar hit by Ryan. Oh wow, these are all like just very, very small. Okay, so this is where we can get into a whole thing, guys. I don't really want to. I just want to change my weird skin color and my eyes. Obviously, I want my eyes to be. Hmm? Because we're making we're making a Xehanort Zemnus. Green? What am I doing? There we go. That's our guy. Needs to be like goldish, right? <laughs> oh boy. That's why I hate when they do like people like red like RGB stuff. Like just let me choose a color. Like, I don't wanna I don't wanna deal with this right now. I know red has to be over there. Now he just has weird stuff that Oh, apparently that gave him some eyeshadow. I don't know why. He's he's a weird looking dude anyway. Uh, there we go. It's hard to get that Xehanort brown gold, but I think we failed actually. It's not good. Uh, brow ridge. How do we look? <laughs> a jerk. How do we look like a jerk? That's what we need for, uh... That's what we need for Xehanort Z slash Zemnis slash Ansem. But not real Ansem. Fake Ansem. Ansem the Wise. Oh, Caitlin, by the way, is Terra... Is Terra... Does he become Xehanort? I, I want to know. This bothers me. I want it to be better, but it's not going to be better. Whatever, guys. Whatever. Nose depth. I, I don't understand how... I feel like with all these sliders and stuff, I always end up making some sort of, like, weird, freakish abomination. <laughs> he needs to look... He needs to look meaner. There we go. A little more petty. Oh, he just looks surprised now. There. There there's there's a little bit more Ansem. Fake Ansem, you 100% want to know, can I handle the truth? Uh I mean, I am so here's my here's my deal. I was looking at a lot of stuff. He has well, well why does my guy have no eyebrows by the way? That's worrying. Um or they're just very light. I don't know. But anyway, I was looking at stuff with Terra, and Terra has like a very, very similar looking, um, very similar looking haircut to Xehanort slash Ansem slash Xemnas. So I was thinking that besides like the, he has that weird like middle frill part, um, but besides that it's like basically the same. So I was thinking that, oh man, I think I, I think I effed it up guys. Now he just looks weird. Or weirder, I should say. Uh, nose tip. Oh? Nose placement? Uh, I feel like is it... I feel like... <laughs> oh god. What would have we done? 100% want to be spoiled because that's all good. I mean, honestly, I really I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play BBS. I'm gonna play BBS. They all they've all they all know. They all know. My girlfriend's here, by the way, guys. She's talking to me. Um, she says, "What about the other people in the chat?" There's only two people in the chat, so or three. Hey, no, five. Hello, everyone. 
you guys want to see me actually play Dark Souls, so this is probably good enough. He looks kind of like a jerk, so at least we got a little bit. Maybe if we changed his lips. Lip shape open or pursed? Mouth expression. Sad, because he's angry. Lip fullness. Ooh, give him those, those thick smackers. No. He'll not do that. Lip size. Lip asperity. This is why... It, Stuff like Skyrim, I'm just like, asperity, what is that? What does that even mean? Lip thickness, thick. Th that's more Zemnus like Sure, why not? Anyway, um, yeah, I, I don't care. I'm gonna play BBS. Grudgingly, and it'll be fine. But, uh... Um, okay. Good. Good. I think we're good. Nose, forehead length? I wish we could actually do more. Okay. Here we go. Oh, we didn't put a name. <sighs> well, I don't know. Xehanort... I feel like Xemnas is more my speed. I like Xemnas. More than Ansem or any of that stuff. Look at us. We're. Okay, let's do it. Okay, cool. Yeah, Xehanort possesses the body of Terra at the end of BBS. Well. Wow. Wow. I'm joking. Uh, that's pretty cool. Oh, we lost two viewers. Sorry, guys. Sorry for the spoilers. They can handle the spoilers. But then there was fire. You think so? And with fire came disparity. Heat and cold. Light. I hope this is vague enough for you guys because it's not gonna get any more specific, so light and dark. You never seen anything about Dark Souls? Oh, you're in for a treat. I heard the spoilers and I don't know what they mean. You're not you're not missing very much, I promise. Ooh, so this is Gravelord Nido, guys. Yeah. Are you happy to see a game that I'm actually maybe a little good at? Is a lift. Gwyn. You're pretty good at Overwatch. Oh, thank you. My 1500 SR rating begs to differ, but thank you. I appreciate I appreciate your faith. I'm, I'll go back when that new event comes. I saw the tr trailer, the teaser, and I'm like, ah, they got me. It's going to be some like mech character that's going to be really cool, so I'm definitely going to play again. I think I just needed a break, you know? All I know about Dark Souls is you have to dodge the boulder that rolls down the stairs. This is true. Look how sick this is, guys. I love how ridiculously fantasy-ish it is. Like, if this was the prologue Lord of the Rings style to a movie, I'd, I'd watch that movie. Look at that. I believe brown man Ray Navarez would describe Nito as an absolute unit. See the scale is... Seath has a weird body. He's like a like an octopus lower half. It's pretty intense. Thus began the age and Orlando, we'll, we'll go there. But soon the flames will fade, and only dark will remain. Even now, there are only embers. A man sees not light, but only endless nights. And a man
Okay, guys. Oh, I'm excited to see it all in pretty upgraded HD. Ah, beautiful. I wish we had a PS4 Pro so we could watch this in 4K because we have a 4K TV. And this is apparently runs in 60 frames per second, which is insane because in the original you'd be lucky to get to like 25. So I'm really excited. And in this land. The undead are corralled and led to the north. Looks nice. Looks nice. Looks like they've made like new assets and everything. It's pretty cool. To await the end of the world. How old is Dark Souls? Dark Souls came out, I believe, in Japan in 2010 originally and then in America in 2011 following the release of <clears throat> Demon Souls which I believe was 2008 or 9 so right now we're unkindled that's why we look like we're dead um, this dude's helping us but it's funny that you know they had Scholar of the First Sin, Dark Souls 2 kind of remastered. And I want to get that again because I love 2, even though it, it is usually considered the uh, least good of the trilogy for whatever reason. But I guess I could say worst instead of least good. But see, at least we have de dexterity so we don't do fat roll. And that's not a derogatory thing. It's just people call it fat roll because it you're a, a big boy and you do a, a, a heavy roll. And it's really slow and funny. So, here's a thing you might miss if you're not familiar with this game. Here's an Asylum Demon. And it's a boss that we could come back and fight later in the game. It's really... It's pretty tough, actually. Um, much more difficult than the boss we're going to encounter in a few moments. So, I mean, I'm trying to remember how to play this game. Uh, da -da. So these guys are just... They're uh, undead. They have no sentience or whatever. Um, this game, you know, it is very old now. So some of the mechanics are a bit dated, but overall it is still pretty... I mean, I've, I've beaten this game, like, it must be at least 30 times. So I'm really, really... I love this game dearly. So I was happy that with this new job I was able to get this uh, remastered edition some good looking water for an early PS3 game. Yeah, I mean, I thought it looked alright. It looks very muddy now. Um, so here's another thing. You can see if you look up, you can see the other Asylum Demon that we're going to fight soon. But if you're playing this normally, you'd be like, hey, I'm going to go here. Oh, look at these doors. Oh my god! Oh jeez! But you just roll through here. And you uh, avoid that fight. Because it's it's hard. Because right now I only have like a, a sword, a broken, like, narso like shard uh, of a sword so every time you rest at a bonfire you save which is helpful unfortunately it resets all the enemies in the vicinity also no pausing in this game so every time you change your equipment it's still happening the stuff is still happening so and this dude is still he's shooting arrows at me. Please stop that. Um, but yeah, the no pausing thing, I remember it used to give me such anxiety when I first played. And it still does, very much. Oh no. Equip your, your, your sword, you dummy. What the heck? Oh, here we go. Got it. So, um, yeah, yeah. Pro gaming technique. I feel a spawn coming. Oh man, Razer, are you watching? That'd be weird if Razer sponsored a PS4 uh, game player, I guess. So, that's the dude we need to go see. Basically, this game, I think, is just like designed to screw you over if you're not 
if you don't know like what you're doing because the first time through is pretty rough so for example what 99 mentioned we'd go up here but we should move out of the way because there's a boulder breaks through this wall go and talk to this dude hey oh, you. I'm standing uncomfortably close Can the game pause when you push the PS button? I, I imagine it does. So Estus is basically like your uh and this. Nice, thank you. Now I must bid farewell. I would hate to harm you after death. So go now. And thank you. So Estus is basically just your uh your health. Oh and as you can see, a little bit of a preview of the sort of like reflexive um ver uh level design of Dark Souls. Um, that is a door that was formerly closed that we could open from the other side. So a lot of Dark Souls involves just play, uh, going through and backstabbing is also very important but I didn't get that one. Um, and going to doors or finding different pathways that will make your your death run shorter because you'll die a lot most likely. But the further you get in the game, the uh, more like shortcuts you find. So watch, I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna try to do a backstab. There we go. And backstabs do a ton of damage, so that's what you should try to do every time, if possible. You also have a, a parry, which you can do, which I'm like really, I was gonna say famously bad, but I'm not famous, so I'm not good at parries. Um, they want you to do a parry for the tutorial in this other room with this dude because he does like a lunge but let's see if I can get it guys oh what I actually got it I'm very surprised <laughs> I would say clip that if it wasn't so sad that I was so excited um, okay you push triangle actually you could do two handed so I'm gonna do that because there's no reason to uh, there's no reason to fight the asylum demon without two hands Okay, so traversing white light. If you see white light, you're most likely going to encounter a boss, so... You usually know that's when it's about to get a little bit more serious. Um, this dude is down here. I'm going to jump off and stab down. And, and you hit him for pretty big damage. So he has, like, a butt attack that you kind of got to watch out for. And roll out of the way, unlike that. Um, ow. Oh, God. Okay. I drink my Estus. He has a swinging attack too. And so, but, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. And he's dead. So it's pretty like, you know, you know what you're doing, it's not too bad. But, got that, got humanity. Um, am I on the right side? Yep, I'm good. So that was the first, uh, that was the first boss. So good job, everyone. Good hustle out there. Um, really not too bad, right? I still got it. GG, everyone. Where's Smudge when you need him? Um, I'm trying to remember. I think I'm actually misremembering. You can find stuff in the second game in the first part, but not here. So, am I misremembering? I could have sworn there are items. Well, anyway, this is fun. Watch this. Look at this. Or don't. Only in the ancient legends it is stated that one day. 
day and undead shall be chosen. We're taking a we're taking a crow a crow uh, flight. Here's the undead asylum in pilgrimage. Oh, it's about to be 11-11, guys. Make a wish. What's everyone wishing for tonight? Don't tell me. That would ruin the surprise. But just know, 11-11, a guest fear, like, into... Okay, 11-11, if you're on the East Coast, or got West Coast, Pacific, <laughs> Pacific Standard Time, it's time for a wish. Oh, it was a good one. So this is Anne Orlando. Actually, no, this isn't Anne Orlando. What am I talking about? We'll get to Anne Orlando. Someone posted in the Discord in memes? It was me! Surprise! This guy. Classic downer. It's also creepy. Let me guess. Fate of the undead, right? Well, you're not the first. But there's no salvation here. I forget what he's called. He's called like the beleaguered knight or something like that. It's six eleven right now, I'll have my chance to wish later. True, true. Well it gives you, you know, you have five hours to think about it, so. Imagine if you talk like this in real life. You can have black or Pinto beans. In the ruins of the base of Blight Town. Bring them both. Blight Town sucks, guys, by the way. I'm excited to go to Blight Town, however, because in the PS3 version, Blight Town was still like 20 frames per second. It was one of the worst places in the entire game. So I feel like it's going to be pretty sweet going there with like 60 frames, allegedly. So I'm going to level up, do one in Vitality, and I love Dexterity, and do one in Endurance, because it gives me more swinging power. And it saves every time you're right here, so um, you can also <clears throat> kindle the bonfire, make the area harder, but I don't need that right now. <laughs> Reverse hollowing by using your humanity, you get certain upgrades by being human. Uh, that's basically it. So I always spend whole time wish or wait, hold wishing time thinking of what to wish for. This is true. And then you have different people who are like, oh, don't tell people what you're wishing for because then it ruins the surprise. It doesn't work. <clears throat> but does any wishing ever work, really? Who knows? But anyway. Hmm? <laughs> My girlfriend said, that's a downer. It is a downer. Life's a downer. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, also, these... So what I've always appreciated about Dark Souls, it has this kind of cool... Um, sort of passive multiplayer. So, for example, all these messages have been written by people, and you can leave messages for others, like warnings, and you can also find uh, blood stains where people have died, and if you push them, or god, if you activate them using X or whatever, you'll see the last seconds of their character's life. So it kind of helps you to figure out, like, oh, there's something that might kill me ahead. What's uh, what's it going to look like? And you at least get a little preview as to what's going to happen. That's why I like to wish for things that I know are definitely going to happen. Keeps the magic alive. That's nice. Oh, guys, two for two. I'm a I'm a reposting machine. Can he do in the third? Oh, too early. Okay, so. Oh man, I'm getting f I forgot the fire bombs above me. I just want to grab this soul. So there's a ring over there. Oh hey, here's what I was talking about. So let me use the Mestis. Um, here is the blood stain. We touch it. Look. Oh, that guy ran up there. Rolled. 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 Probably rolled off. It. And he fell. Yep. Okay, so um, the game has a really weird jump, by the way. So there's a ring over there I could try to run and get. But you have to hold circle and then push it. Like a double tap to jump off. I don't know. I feel, uh, whatever. Let's try it, guys. Let's try it. Whew. Okay, then you gotta, like, grind your face on here. Grind your face on here. Uh. Look at that. Why, why am I... 
Why am I doubting myself? Uh oh. Uh oh, sir. Sir? Please don't do that. Oh no. Okay, that's the problem. Over here, over here. Okay. Got him. Okay. Jeez. Stalkin. Hey, in the remaster, you can change your jump to L3 if you prefer that. Oh, thank you, Stalkin. I, I might actually do that, because the double... The double, uh... That double circle thing is real weird, and I don't like it whatsoever. Can I just do this? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> but thank you for that. I appreciate it. Oh, come on. Here we go. Jump. Oh, wait, no. Cancel. Oh, wait. Wait. Save. Okay. So, if I run with circle, and then click. Ah, oh, much better. Thank you, Stalkin. I appreciate it. Gets you killed in PvP. What, jumping? <laughs> It's nice that you can remap it. I know, it's kind of interesting that you can remap on, like, a console game. That's kind of cool. I'm trying to get better on my... Oh, my God. My parries are just hot garbage. Um, well, I've never been great at parries, so... But, you know, whatever. We're just... We're getting used to it again. But, yeah, Stalkin, how are you tonight? What are you into... Besides Dark Souls, I guess. I'm just getting into the remaster, but... I was a big fan of uh, Dark Souls 1. I played it in college a ton. And then Dark Souls 2 I was also big on. I haven't beat 3 yet. Um, I don't know why it is about 3, why I haven't. I kind of... I got it, like, opening week. Played it for a week straight, and then I was just like, yeah, I'm good. So I do want to go back for the stream and finish it. And do, like, a whole Souls run. Um... I mean, oh god, oh, how did I do that? But I do follow the Happy Hob. I think that's the reason why I've been so adamant about getting back into it, because I watched, I saw him when he beat his, uh... If you guys don't know, Happy Hob's the guy who beat Dark Souls on, um... There's no difficulty. He beat it all three in a row without getting hit. Sorry, I had to crack my... I couldn't think, because I had to crack my neck. Um, oh, gee. Okay, oh, jeez. Dude. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. So that's what made me think. Oh, I should play this again. Uh, yeah. Jeez. I don't know what I'm doing. I kind of have that Zelda thing where I just love breaking as many uh, pots and pans, pots and pans, pots and crates and all that stuff as I can. It makes me feel good. So all these souls we can consume to level up, but it's best to do it near a bonfire, because if you die, you drop all your souls. Kind of similar to, imagine if you're doing, ah oh shoot, if you were doing like World of Warcraft PvP or something, or I mean even PvE, and you died. You have to run, you have to do like a body run, but instead of just being your body, it's all your experience and stuff too, so. But then if you die a second time, all of it just goes away, which is a bummer. Decent, been playing DSR for a while. Never played the original, so definitely had fun. Oh, very nice. Well, I'm excited that uh, it's like bringing like new people into the the fandom, I guess. Now you invade. Oh no, one of those. What's your what's your kit? Like, what do you what kind of player are you? Are you like a Dex player or what are you? I'm not gonna. Why can't I make this freaking jump? It's weird how like when you play a game a ton you just know it so well and then like you come back to it and you, your brain knows what you're supposed to do but your hands and everything else don't necessarily <laughs> follow I'm going to do one more and then I'm going to say whatever oh I, yeah, that's I, the, see that my brain was not working I need to go up to the second floor and then jump that's what that's the problem sorry guys I apologize we'll get there we can also go over here, actually, and just go down. We can drop. Um, yeah, 
why not? It's a bunch of stuff. This is like a weird little bit right here. Um, a bunch of guys come up over railing. Not here, but a little bit closer on. Uh, I always thought that was weird. Right here it just ends, but... Where are these guys? Right here, yeah. So you always, it's always good to get people... Uh, oh my god, oh my god. What I like about Dark Souls is that, like, even though they're a bunch of crazy, terrifying baddies that you can fight, uh, pretty much anyone could kill you, so... Gotta be careful. I have a couple builds. BKGS on one, SL81 strength, and Chaos level 60. Ooh, that Chaos one sounds scary. I'm trying to remember what all that means. So these guys are just hanging out. I'm just gonna make them fall. Do this guy. Oh no. Oh no, sir, sir. Um, I remember. I never really was an invader because I dislike confrontation, but <clears throat> I like playing with the halberd, you know, the one you get later. Black Knight Greatsword. Oh, cool. Cool, cool. That's a good one. Isn't I believe this is going to be a crossbow, if I remember correctly. Oh, nope. I guess I don't. So that's that, like, weird little part, but see? It sort of rounds back onto itself. So we got some souls. Got some equipment, got stabbed a bit, and we're good. Um, I think we missed the cool dragon flyover, which I don't know why I didn't see it, but usually there's a dragon that flies low over you, looks really nice. Um, I do love that second R2 strong hit where you just slice them up. It's uh, always been a fave of mine. Um, I'm gonna go open. Before this gets crazy over here, I'm just gonna go and there's a bonfire really close. I want to unlock that just to make sure I get it and then come back. Is there a soul? Yeah, wooden shield. Uh, I can't remember. I think this the wooden shield's not as good. There's so much of it that's like vaguely in my memory. I'll have to see if I can uh, continue to do as well as I have been. Gargoyle halberd. Oh yeah. That's a good one. I think I, I think I would use the Black Knight Halberd because um, it levels up really, really nice with the Titanite Shards and stuff. So I'm just going to level up right now, guys. Get my decks up one more. Oh, hey, I can even... Um, I mean, it's probably not even worth it right now, but let's see. Uh, soul. See, you got to go Soul Lost Undead, Use, and you use all five, which I think using multiple ones is a remaster thing, because I, I think I remember distinctly having to do a bunch of that. Do my vitality, because, like, I probably am going to die a lot, but... Gargoyles, uh, Gargoyles is a great boss fight, by the way. He's no Link. Sorry, 99, I didn't see that until just now. Um, well, yeah, Link has more character than my dude right here. Definitely. So, oh, man, I'm just going to... Oh, what, another thing I think is interesting, oh my god, oh my god, about Dark Souls, is that it's one of the first games that had, that I played, where a uh, sword acted in like a realistic manner, where you can't just like swing through walls and stuff. Let me check my, let me check my, oh wait, I guess I can do change equipment. Wind shield. 54, 160. I'm gonna keep my shield. I like my shield. These guys are a bit of a pain because of their because uh, their shields. You kind of just gotta give them the run around, and when they try to strike, then get them. Or you could just uh, parry them, and that's helpful. But you do that, it's fine. Um, okay, and so then also you have to remember weapons scale with dexterity and strength. So some weapons you can't use unless you have a certain dex or strength stat. And the other weapons you need um, a certain multiple of that to do like a two-handed version of it. So like I can do two-handed right here, but if I had like a heavy weapon I might need more strength to do that. So I believe there's a guy behind barrels here. Oh yeah, hey look at that. Hey man. 
So I love that one. I use that one a lot. Um, that stab. And then... Is there a guy over here? Yep. Oh, no. That's who it is. I was about to kill this guy. Um, he can give you... Um, yeah, repair powder is pretty important, but not the craziest. You can write messages with soapstone. Residence key is important. Um, you can buy different stuff, whatever. I don't need anything right now. Eventually, I'll probably just get a bow to kite people, but... I don't know. I'm fine. I'm fine right now. I'm just going to buy the, red, the residence. Uh, and then bottom, uh, bottomless box. Hmm. I'll get another thousand souls before I see the next dude, so I'll come back. Thank you kindly. Black Knight. Heater shield is great. Two in weight and 100% physical block. Yeah, the 100% physical block is pretty sweet. I, I was actually surprised when I blocked that one guy that I didn't suffer more uh, damage. Isn't there? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, I like the heater shield. Um, it's funny, because I don't know why, but I remember I got in the, the habit of starting as, like, a wanderer. And I was like, I don't know why. Oh, this is the place that has the crossbow, by the way. Um, starting as a wanderer, but this is nice, because you don't have fat roll. And you have fairly high dex and strength to start with. And so, like, you can definitely pour a little bit into strength as it goes on, but I feel like it's a really good base. I don't know why I was going so hard for, uh... Oh, throwing knives are great, too. Why I was going so hard for... Here's that jump I was talking about, guys. Oh, shoot. Did I miss it? Ugh! God damn it. Well. One of many. Black Knight Halberd requires 32 strength, 24 for two hand. Scales better with dex, but really shines on a quality. I believe that's what I did. Was that a swear word? I believe it was a half swear, so I don't think we have to add to the jar. Um, but if you want to, if you want to review the footage, I mean, feel free. I believe I said... <sighs> Trucks. I can't believe I got hit. Whatever. Okay, so this is a summon sign. Someone else is playing. You can summon them if you want. But I don't wanna. Ah! And so this is two-handed. Two-handed is good if you wanna just, like, wreck fools. But, oh my god. Um. I still gotta get used to this game. Is this, uh, can I open this from here? No, I need my half square slide. It was death number one. I was playing this game no death is surprising enough for me. I can't believe that Hob beat all three in a row without getting hit. I think that's insane. Um, but it just shows you, like, that's why I appreciate these games, because um, you can, like, kill, I would say, I don't know if you agree, um, if you agree, Stalkin, you can pretty much kill every boss level one if you like know what you're doing like uh... it's it's possible it's just not fun all the time <laughs> but that's what i appreciate about this game and the boss fights and the controls like they feel a little slow and clunky now compared to some of the newer games but like overall it's some pretty like impressive stuff i think and um... it still feels good to me like right now i'm really enjoying just feeling it just feels right like it it works there's a reason why it's popular and uh... lasted this long and why a uh, remaster is even you know demanded grave lording actually works in this game grave lording as in <clears throat> i'm sorry when i last played i wasn't into any of the jargon oh my god so <laughs> what is grave lording if you don't mind me asking because this was like pre Taylor on uh, <clears throat> Reddit or the internet. Or maybe not the internet, but like when I first played this I wasn't doing I don't think I was in the Twitter or anything. It wasn't What is grave lording? Like Nito? People just try to farm Nito or something. And I'm trying to remember can I jump on here? There's no reason to. No. Okay. A lot of this stuff... So honestly, you could get through this whole part without fighting anyone. 
<clears throat> if I was playing this for time or whatever, like, this is the stuff that people just skip. There's no reason to do any of this. You can run past all these guys, which is kind of cool, too. So it really just depends, like, what you want to do. Like, gold pine resin is important. It adds, like, electrical energy to your weapon, so I like getting that. Um, there's a crossbow guy up here who's really annoying. I don't know why. I used to have, sometimes I'd have problems killing that guy. It's mainly because you can mess up and, like, um, oh my god, why did I do that? This is stupid. I really should. I probably, I can show you guys how to run past everyone. <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> I can show you what it looks like, because I only have two Estus Flask, and there's a boss fight coming up, so maybe that will be worth it. Oh, he has an Estus Flask, too. Oh my god, oh my god. So, yeah. But yeah, that's like what I was saying. Like, you could get killed by anyone. Um, it's just a matter of... Ow! Well, that's annoying. Oh, I wish I wouldn't have died so much. There's a... I believe there's a pretty crazy dude. There's a Black Knight down here. We got really quiet when we hear us, though. Okay. Oh well. There's nothing back here, I forgot. PvP Covenant. You pass the white sign. They infect wor uh, the worlds of players activating the sign allows you to invade that player and killing them removes the taint. The taint doesn't take effect unless the player is in New Game Plus, so most people do it at low level for fun and a challenge of fighting up to four people. That is fun. Uh, PvP is definitely something I'd like to get into more because I never did when I first played the game, so might be something we look into when we get more <laughs> reacquainted with uh, Dark Souls here. Uh, I'm sure we'll be playing a lot of this soon. Uh, watch out for this barrel. But see, look, a lot of this stuff is just you have to do it more than once. Oh, I don't know why I tried to do that. Because, like... Oh my god. If I was playing, you know, you're playing the first time, a lot of it's just there to make you have a headache and be like, well, what happened? And a lot of it's just like, oh, well, I guess I won't get hit by that annoying barrel next time, you know? Um, so guys, I kind of love this part. At least I got some souls. I think I'm going to run back to the guy... And I'll show you that you can just kind of skip all this if you really want to. Sorry, I'm sweating a little hot. <laughs> so I'm going to get my bottomless box. Because I want to... Ah, oh, shoot, I forgot all these guys are still here. Hey, man. Come here real quick. Oh, I'm, like, really close to dying. Um... Maybe I don't want to risk it. We'll get our bottomless box soon. Let's just get it when we have more. Disasters are gone after the defeat of the Grave Lord Serpent. Oh, a serpent. That's what you're talking about. So let's do decks right here. We got this going on. Do you follow a. Uh, do you follow Happy Hob? It's talking? Because uh, I think if you like Dark Souls stuff, I definitely recommend his channel. It's really, really entertaining. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh, guys. Bad. Okay, so this is how you don't... This is how you don't uh, do this part. I was saying I was being all cool by skipping stuff, but holy crap. Um, I forgot if that door is not open. You're in trouble, so... Let's make all these guys go away. Jeez. Oh, boy. Which I guess also shows, like, it's just selective... Selective killing or whatever is kind of your friend. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I'm, like, just gonna die. Ugh. Number two. 
<sighs> I don't follow him, but I'm well aware of his no-hit run. I did a no-death run in DS3, but I can't imagine never even being hit. That's pretty awesome, though. Congrats on that. That's really impressive. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, getting not getting hit in in one game is pretty impressive. Not getting hit in all three is, like, it's pretty insane. And I remember watching it, and I felt so bad for him because he, he got to, like, Gwyn multiple times and just died. And it, I was like, oh, I can't imagine... I mean, it helps that he, yeah, he could get through everything in about, like, you know, maybe six hours, but still, it's, I can imagine that feeling like a crushing loss, in a way, because it's just annoying, you know, you don't want to have to play all that stuff again, but and obviously there's some part of it that he really enjoys, because he wouldn't play it otherwise, so, is this guy alive? No, he's dead. Ugh. Just want to get to the Taurus Demon, guys. Okay, don't let me on fire, please. Oh my god. Ah, oh. some of the hitbox stuff in this game I do think is a bit questionable, and I'm talking in terms of like benefiting you and not benefiting you, because sometimes you will swear that there's you're not close at all and you'll still die. And other times, you're fairly certain that you killed someone, and uh, they'll just destroy you, and it sucks. Is there no barrel? Ooh. So there is no barrel. Uh, so that guy's following me. Nope. Okay, we're good. Oh no, we're bad. <laughs> there we go. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, so this is, I think this is new. I don't remember having to do this, because I remember being able to run back. Holy crap. Jeez, man, just let me go. I don't even want to fight you. Who are you? <laughs> I remember fighting all these people, and running past them, they just let you go, but I guess not. Four kings without being hit, just wow, yeah. And he finishes four kings in like, like 20 seconds. It's really, really crazy. Um, not 20 seconds, but I guess that just shows you. Like that's what I kind of like about this series. It's it's all just patterns and stuff, you know. It's all just learning the patterns, getting better. Um, and yeah. So, like this one. This one. I mean, let's see how it goes. But it should be easy. But sometimes you just get surprised so like I hope I don't lose all these souls but I think oh this is also kind of cool guys you can see where we came that shows that kind of uh, circular nature the Ouroboros nature of uh, how the levels are designed I missed the crystal lizard where was the crystal lizard by the way I forget I don't know if I've seen the which one are you talking about I don't know if I remember that one okay let's see if this goes well Okay, come on, you, you big, big, you big boy. He's a thick, he's a pretty thick boy, I would say. Taurus demon. To cheese or not to cheese is the question. <laughs> I mean, I'm always for some cheese. I'm not proud. If I can, if I can kill this freaking guy and not like be miserable, um, I'll consider that a big win. So. There we go. Woo. So guys, you know. Pretty, uh, pretty, fu pretty, pretty simple. We didn't get any souls for that. I guess he wasn't that kind of, we didn't get like the tourist even soul. Oh, we got 3,000. Okay. Get wrecked, big monster guy. In a barrel. Really? In the room before the white fog, you just got swarmed by hollows. Oh. Let me go check, because I'll totally, I'll totally get that if it's still there. I didn't even know about that one, Stalkin. Thank you. I don't think I've ever gotten that crystal lizard. And here. So. No? 
up one. But yeah, Caitlin, the Taurus demon, like, it's funny because, um, it's probably up here, right? Oh, here we go. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Yeah. When I was, uh, oh, my, that's really, really early to get Titanite. When I remember when I first would play, like, sometimes people spend, like, multiple runs trying to get to the Taurus Demon and dying. Like, it's a it's a big thing. So that's what I love about this game is, like, you learn, you improve, you get better, and then you feel like there are, like, actionable ways that you can uh, defeat these people that, these creatures that have formerly given you a big, big problem, so. I believe there's, like, one random dude here, but I can't remember. Uh, it's locked. Oh, this is where we come back. Ah, uh, I remember. Okay. But here, guys, are you excited for some jolly cooperation? You know who this is, Caitlin, probably, even if you're not into this game. 99, huh? Less than 20% in the remaster even have beaten Gwyn. Really? Kill him? I'm not gonna kill Solaire. Sorry for the egregious, like, drinking noises. It's tea and I'm very thirsty. I love Solaire, though. You need to talk to him multiple times, though. Oh, wait. Sorry. Oops. If you want to get the, uh, the stone. Yes. You get this, uh, it's how you summon people, or get summoned, or offer to help people. Jolly cooperation. Uh, Slayer's kind of a creepy dude. I, I always like him, and he's a fun character, and he shows up at, like, interesting points. Praise the sun. Okay, so, here we go. Ready for this, Caitlin? <sighs> gotta run, gotta run, gotta run. Oh, shoot, I, I effed myself. Okay, don't... Sorry, don't kill me, don't kill me. Ah! <laughs> Get over. Oof. Look at that. Okay, so this is getting cool, like I talked about with the, uh... Level design earlier. Just go around here. Kick down this ladder. Oh, hey. There's that. There's that, uh. There's the bonfire from earlier. Sorry, I couldn't remember the word. And, uh, yeah. Now we have a, a shortcut, so. That's some fire. Praise the sun. Name an NPC in Dark Souls, any Dark Souls game, and that isn't at least a little creepy. Uh, Stalkin? Very, very true. I was. <laughs> I would say like 90% of them are just like uh, unnerving. Um, let's do endurance. Could do one more. Oh, nice. Oh wow. Uh, quality. Oh, it wouldn't hurt to do a strength. But uh, I'm really just winging it, guys. Too with the stats, you can be a little bit more like exacting with them. But whatever. I should probably. And it's cool, too, to, like, go back to places you've been before and just, like, wreck house now that you, like, get upgraded. So. Um, but I want to buy that bottomless box because it, it becomes useful later sometimes. It's good to have. Like, there's no reason not to have it, so. Um, I would say, hmm, Stalkin, would you say Lucatiel? I mean, she's kind of creepy, but at least she has, like, a cool arc in Dark Souls 2. Ouch. Come on, guys. I don't really want to do this right now. Oh, thank you. It's so weird, because these guys don't look like they be have blood, do they? Come on. Also, um, Caitlin, for the combat system of this, like, I love, you know, the Stalking on this channel, we play some uh, Kingdom Hearts 2, or as well, I should say. And uh, I like Kingdom Hearts as a series quite a bit. I came to it new when I started the stream, but like, 
man, the combat's frustrating sometimes, and I feel like combat here is a little bit slower, a little bit dated, but still really, really feels really good, so. Um, Lloyd's Talisman, let's buy the bottomless box. Now we have it, and then a repair box we'll get later. But we're pretty good for right now, so. Um, I'll go save it again, and then we'll be on our way to the next boss. I'll give you that one. Yeah, Luke Teal's fun. Um, and now, Patches. If I had a, a list of characters that I just hate, uh, Patches would definitely be on there, because Patches sucks. So. But you'll meet them later, Caitlin, in the Tomb of the Giants, probably. And if we meet Patches, we will kill that dude on sight, because he is nothing but trouble. And it's funny because Patches shows up in like literally every Souls game just to screw you over, and it's it's almost it's it's pretty funny I think actually. But with a name like Patches, even better, Patches is voiced by Peter Serafinovitz, who's a you know super funny dude and great at making like kind of skeevy jerk characters. So obviously, obviously you can see a lot of people died here, dude. Come on. I just wanted to fall off. Ugh. God's sakes. Oh, just fall, please. I wish there was a kick button. Is there a kick button? Am I just not remembering? Whatever. Peter's great. He is really funny. He has an amazing voice. I wish I had a voice like Peter. Oh, also a fun little tidbit. You can get a pretty good starting weapon. Uh, oh, Jesus, I forgot. I forgot the... Oh, my God. These rats that'll poison you with their, their grossness. Don't. Don't. Please don't. If you get poison, it really sucks. And there's, like, it lasts way too long. God damn it. Oh, my God. I hate these things. I hate rats in real life, but, like... I don't hate rats, actually. They're fine. They're misrepresented, but holy crap. These guys are just relentless and annoying and really, really hard to kill. Oh my god. Just kill me now. And poison lasts way too long, and we just wasted our time. Ugh. Poison lasts a long time, so I'm just going to go back. I totally forgot about it. What I was trying to say is if you go to the other side... Kick is forward plus R1. Oh, hey. Thanks. I thought I knew. Uh, okay, so you can actually come over here if you want and shoot the tail off of the dragon. I'm going to die. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, poison sucks in this game, by the way. If you get poison, you're screwed. For the most part. Like Blight Town, you can get antidotes, but if you're poisoned early on, it's really, really difficult. Patches is a great NPC, but he sells you good stuff. This is true. The lore on Patches is fun. I agree. He screws you over, but only does it to greedy souls. I guess I'm greedy. I guess we're all greedy in this game. It, I just like I like any character that just inexplicably shows up multiple times in stuff, you know? Like, I always think that's a lot of fun, so I, I appreciate Patches' place in the, uh, the canon. What was that, three guys? I just really want to get to... I don't know, how far can we get tonight? We've been playing like an hour. I think we could get... Oh no, oh no. I think we could get to like a fun place. Ah, oh, what's the name? Do you play DLC for DS3? I did not... I haven't... I, have, uh, I said uh, DS3 is actually the one I have not finished yet, so... Holy shoot. Oh my god. God damn it. This is really frustrating. I hate it so much. Uh, it's like... It makes me want to get a bow now. But yeah, I haven't, I haven't played three. The Tokusen, how you guys doing? Hey, how are you? Oh, thanks so much, Tokusen. 
for the host. I appreciate it. I'm doing all right. Uh, got this game, which I'm really psyched about, because I haven't played Dark Souls for a bit. Unfortunately, I've just... I'm not doing as well as I would like. I remember what I remember, but... It's like your, I was saying earlier, your brain remembers it, but your your hands don't necessarily remember it. And so I've been making foolish mistakes, but we're getting back to where we were, I think. Well, I was about to go get roasted by a dragon, so that's not a good thing. Here we go. I just need to stop getting poisoned by these dumb rats. <laughs> the raiding? Oh, wow. Thanks for the raid, guys. Without spoiling it, the the Ring City has an excellent end to Patch's character arc. That's awesome. I love Patches so much. Hey, Master of Rolling. Zen Forces are here. Woo woo. Thanks, Zen Forces. Uh, thanks for coming by. We're just getting reacquainted with Dark Souls. I'm, it's one of my favorite games of all time, so I'm really happy to be playing it again. Um, I've, you know, we've done pretty well. The Asylum Demon was easy. Taurus Demon we did in like 10 seconds. I'm just waiting for the, you know, the shoe to drop and to hit. I, I mean, once we get to Smell and Orange Scene, we're going to have some problems. <laughs> but so far, it's been all right, except for these stupid rats. It's been the most problem, uh, the most trouble I've had so far tonight. And this dude right here is a problem. Just fall, please. Fall, please. We're just dancing right now, guys. Oh no. <gasps> okay. So, these rats. How about these rats? Oh my god. Oh no. See, I don't know why it's something about like their their moves movement speed and how they get you just it doesn't work for me. Don't get don't get that dragon sail. Yeah, I know it's not it's not that good, but it is fun to shoot off. It's like one of those nice little uh, secret things that I liked learning about when I was uh, first playing. There's poison. Their poison is reduced and gives you opportunity to counterattack. Okay, thank you very much. Did someone just speak to me? I thought I heard something. That was creepy. Someone over here? Yep. Oh no! Oh no! R-O-U-S's? I don't think they exist. If you do, any of your achievement afterwards will be diminished. It's considered a scrub way of progressing in the game in the Dank Souls community. <laughs> oh god, good thing I didn't block. I'm, I'm glad I didn't get scrubbed. I do love Dank Souls, though. Uh, I was saying that I, I played Bloodborne and played 1, 2. For whatever reason, I had not beaten 3, so... That'll be uh, on the po podcast, jeez. That'll be on the stream uh, sometime in the near future, guys. Um, oh, okay, so this is a... always It's always been a frustrating area for me, but one that I really enjoy, because if you can get the, uh, the boar in a certain way, it's a lot of fun, because he just kind of burns himself to death, which sounds really macabre and, like, mean-spirited, I'm sorry, but it's a fairly difficult... Uh, thing to kill right now at this point, but you can kind of do a fun way of God. I do hate that there's no um, what's it called? There's no like I don't like that there's no was it projectile impact? I don't know what I'm trying to say. That if you're fighting someone, the arrows go through their own guys. Like, I don't like that. That bothers me. That's the one thing I remember I've always been frustrated with, with Dark Souls. And I do not... Like, the, what? what is that? That's not my favorite thing. You can circle the boar around the campfire and he'll just burn himself. Yeah, that's what, uh, I remember when I discovered that, and I felt like I was like, oh man, I must be the first person who's ever realized how to do this. And I felt really cool. Okay. So, Alluring Skull. Oh, can't you just throw... I think you could just throw the Alluring Skull, technically. If you want. Right? Is that not a thing? Can't remember. Okay, so we're doing... Ow. Dude. A scrub way. <laughs> it's actually a terrible weapon. It counts as plus five without scaling a regular longsword better. Well, I like, I'm a halberd guy, kind of. 
Hope that doesn't change your opinion of me, but... Oh my god, holy crap. Um, yeah, when it gets to... I mean, I love the halberd so much in this game. Especially, like, a plus, plus five halberd. Because you could get it pretty... You could make it pretty beefy, like, pretty early on. So, um... What am I doing, guys? Uh-oh. Track certain types. Is this how I do it? I can't remember. Ah, shoot. I just used my last one. Oh, well. Holy crap. There you go. Ooh, look at that animation, guys. Remaster. Drake Sword is bad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Not the best. Okay, so we got that. Cool. Um, I was trying to remember. I was like, how do we open this? But, oh man, I hope... I'm trying to remember where the next bonfire is. I do love the uh, R2 on the longsword because it, it's a really good... It works well in corridors, and I feel like that's like half the battle often in Dark Souls is not uh, ricocheting off the walls, you know? God, I love this game so much, guys. Thanks for thanks for being here. Oh no! Oh no! Sorry, guys. Oh, I'll talk in a second, guys. I'm sorry. There's a I got a just a line of people coming after me. I'm just poking them. Oh no! No no! Ah! Sir, sir, stop! 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 Oh hey, Rush. How's it going? Lurk. <laughs> what enemy? Thank you, thank you, Rush. How are you tonight? Happy to see you. Black Knight weapons are truly Dark Souls easy mode. You can get plus five super easy, which is max upgrade. Well, I mean, you know, I'm always one of those people, like, if you can use it, go ahead, you know? I mean, especially if you're trying to do, like, a challenge run or beat New Game Plus or whatever. Like, if it's available in the game, I don't really see it as being that cheap necessarily. Plus, I feel like Dark Souls, even beating it, you know, in itself feels like an achievement for most people. Did they increase the drop rate and remastered for what? Oh, no. I, didn't, I was distracted. Because I streamed blind playthrough and literally got most of them on my first kill of each night. Really? Huh. That's that's interesting. Um, I, I'll, I'll be curious to see what my experience is, because I do remember feeling like they were few and far between when I played, um, when I was playing the original. Okay, yeah, I'm trying to remember. Oh, now I know where I am. Okay. I remember. Can I sneak? Can I sneak? Don't turn around, sir. Please don't. Yeah. Oh my god. No, no. Uh, I forgot how fast those guys are. They didn't change the MG, but have 10 softy man increases your chance drop. Huh. Everybody kept saying lucky. I had Serpent Ring on where most of it. Yeah, Serpent Ring is good to get early. But I've never... Is Serpent Ring the one you get in the Valley of the Drakes? Because I've never had really good, good luck with my jump and roll in the Valley of the Drakes. Guys, I feel like I'm going to die. Yeah, it's not a good feeling. Gold Serpent Ring plus 10 soft humanity is max drop rate. I need to remember or get into all the lingo again. Oh no, oh no. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Because I know what you guys are saying, but it's taking me a sec to like remember. Okay, I'll be in a bit. Cameo by my girlfriend walking in the back. I got Balder Greaves uh, change equipment. I feel like someone's coming. Oh, yeah. I was like, what's that sound? It's just this guy. Oh, my God. It's in Ring is in Sen's Fortress. Okay. Oh, man, I remember in Sense Fortress I had such a such problem with all those like snake guys the first time I played. 
They really do bother me. Number by your health bar that you can lose if you die. Cool, cool, cool. Have a good night. Oh, thank you, Toksan. I really enjoyed uh, you uh, being here. Hope you make an appearance in the future. I would appreciate it. And I'll, I'll, uh, I'll follow your stream. I want to see you stream. That'd be fun. Have a good night. Dude, come on. Thank you. Okay, is there... I believe there's a knight to the right. No? Am I forgetting this? I already kill him, probably. I don't know. Oh, thanks, Togazan. I look forward to seeing your streams. Oh, man, guys. Ah. This is making me sad, because... I want to get to the bonfire. But I'm forgetting how to do it. Where am I going? Basement key. Open this. Hey, yo, welcome, welcome, Toxin. Yes. Um. Actually, I always remember. Is there? There's a way that you can outrun the dragon, right? Ah, shoot. Okay, I remember this now. I'm not in a good position, guys. Oh yeah. Can we use it right now? Uh, da da da. Eighty, one ten. It's heavy. Insufficient strength. Oh hey, Detox Bunny. Thanks for the follow. I hope you're enjoying the stream. Just getting back into this Dark Souls remastered. Or I guess I, Dark Souls in general remastered because it's new. Uh, it's it's feeling pretty nice though. I do appreciate the upgraded uh, frame rate because the first game, man, going back and playing, you're like, oh my god, how did I enjoy this so much? Okay, so I'm not strong enough to wield that yet. Very slow. Stick with the uh, long sword. Oh boy, we need to we need to get to a bonfire. Don't don't mind me, guys. I'm just walking around. I was like, why am I walking so weird? Thank you, Tokzen. Don't kill me. Um, I can do the Sen's Fortress one, right? Uh, I'm trying to remember where the... Oh, my God. Oh, no. Okay, I'm trying to remember where all the... Uh... Okay, don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Trying to remember where all the uh, bonfires are. Isn't there a bonfire and like a and a? I'm trying to remember. There's a blacksmith around here, right? Hey, detox bunny, what's up? How are you tonight? Okay, it's not there. Firelink Shrine is down there. The heck? Is this not? In the basement of here is the. I believe. Don't tell him. Don't tell him. Oh God, guys, tell me, please. Okay, I was right. Whew. Yeah. Isn't there a bonfire? Yes, indeed. <laughs> I was worried for a sec. Oh, good. Oh man. Whew. Oh, we should upgrade our strength. How about that? Because I, I, I. I Gotta say, God, I can't speak. I love, um, I do love the halberd, so. Okay, let's do two strength, why not? We got it. Alright, so, uh, don't tell him. What does that mean now? I like that, uh, I like that cat's back here, I, I totally forgot. Yeah. Oh, hey guys, look at that. Uh, yes. This is where I wanted to be. Hey. What's this guy's name again? Well, Forget. You must be a new if it requires I do. Special Ember. Ah, true. I forgot. Okay. We'll get there. Got, oh, and then... Can't tell you how many times... How many hours I spent two-handing a halberd <laughs> in this game. I'm happy we didn't die. I'm happy we got to do that. Okay, so guys, going back. 
Um, I guess we're gonna go try to get to the gargoyles, so. And also clear out the church and open up the shortcut back to the Firelink Shrine, which is... Ah, shoot. Oh, well, not as fast as I thought it was. <laughs> probably should not... Um, probably should not two-hand that, unless I know what I'm doing. If you don't remember, I won't tell you about enemies in Bonfire. His name is Andre. Ah, true. You can upgrade to plus five without the special ember. Andre. Andre is... He makes an appearance in Dark Souls 3, doesn't he? In the weird... That was the thing that kind of um, threw me off, I remember, when I first played Dark Souls 3, which I... Like I said earlier, I hadn't finished. Is the, like, the Firelink Shrine hub is kind of weird in that one, you know? In the sense that, uh... Like, for a long time, I was like, where, how do I start this game? Like, where do I go? And then I only, after a while, realized you had to go to the wall of Lordran, right? By uh, teleporting, which I thought was kind of weird. So, I do think, I would say, at least in my experience, Dark Souls 1... Oh yeah, hey. Dark Souls 1 has my favorite level design. Because I felt like even Dark Souls 2 felt a little disconnected with all of the uh, teleporting and stuff, you know? But uh, I did, I mean, I, I love Dark Souls too. I have a lot of fun. The Giant is a great first uh, boss. Um, the flashbacks I thought were really cool. Luca Teal is really cool. I actually like the kind of double boss at the end. Um, Mirror Knight's fun. Yeah, the Chariot's fun. Like, I, I like all that stuff. I just feel like there's something so special about Dark Souls 1. They can't really, I don't think anyone was ever going to... Mimic it. Huh. <laughs> Mimic. Um, but yeah. It's a, it's a great series. Soulsborne. I need to finish, uh, I don't, actually, I never finished Bloodborne either, so. I need to go through and do that. I have it. Unfortunately, it's one of those things where you play it, and then you don't finish. And then, eventually, you're like, I need to pick it up again. And there's, like, a new edition that has all the DLC, and you're like, well, do I get that one, or do I just buy it separately? I don't know. Shh, be really quiet. It's very loud. I don't know why you can't hear me. Most people either like DS3 teleport or don't. I do prefer level design DS1. There's far too many bonfires. Okay, so you're like a... You're like a challenge seeker then. I mean, I guess if you did no death on DS3, that makes sense. I would love to have done no death in any of these games, but... Alas... Has not happened for me. Okay, so I'm just gonna go through the front. I do think, what, isn't there that weird, there's a weird wizard on top, if I remember correctly. Oh. Shh. Yeah, there's a weird wizard who does, like, the shaky dance, which I always thought was kind of funny. Um, and also that crap ton of, like, undead, withered people. What are they called? Unkindled? Humanity-less? Okay, where am I going? Where am I going? What am I doing? And I went this way. Oh, and then I went left. That's what happened. Okay. I'm um, telling you, it's, it's weird. It's like trying to remember a dream. But I feel like we're in a pretty good spot. We only died a few times. These guys come out in a fairly manageable fashion. If I could get my freaking camera to work. Oh, I do love their their uh, shields. That's what I want, actually. Do I have one? Wooden shield? No. One of their shields. Um, I think I farm these guys. Channelers and hollows. Yeah. A lot of hollows. Oh, boy. I do love how, like, it's it seems cheap, but they... There's so much of this game that they do just to, like, just to mess with you. The buckler's actually pretty fun, too. Um, so much of this game is just meant to, like, screw you over in such a annoying way, you know? Like, so many, so many, uh, enemies just, like, hidden behind corners and stuff designed to get you on the first time through just in, uh, just to kind of punish you for running out too fast. Baldur's Shield, there we go. Um, I've always been a fan of the Baldur's Shield. 
I actually feel like I parry better with it, but again, this is coming from an admitted. Oh my god, bad parrier. That's where the dancy guy was. Okay, please don't kill me. I got this dude. Hello. Oh my god. I do like that it has a very... Jesus. Uh, oh my. Oh my. A very deliberate pace to it. That, like, it seems slow. But, I don't know. I feel like it's very technical. That's why I've always liked Dark Souls. It, ma it makes you feel like you're doing something well, I think. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <sighs> ah, dude. Oh my god. Four things to fight at any time in any Soulsborne game. One sec, I'll finish that. Just thought in a sec. Dude. Ah. Your character, the enemies, the camera, and gravity. That's actually probably the best summation of uh, something that I love dearly that I've ever read. Because so much of it is like... I don't know, is the hitbox going to be annoying right now? Or... Am I gonna do something incredibly dumb? Oh my gosh. At least this guy doesn't respond. Respawn? Did I say respond? There we go. Tyanite! Give me Tyanite! Thank you. But yeah, the camera... Man, the camera is rough sometimes. You'd <laughs> given me quite a bit of trouble. I'm just gonna run... Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Ow. It's so funny when you get, like, good at this game, because so much of it is just, like, a dead sprint to, like, where you want to go. Um, is this how I open it? I'm trying to remember. I think so, right? Yeah, okay, we got it. I'm glad that guy doesn't respawn. So, yeah, let's go to the, uh, it's midnight, guys. Getting a little late here, but having a good stream so far. Enjoying getting back into this game. And I think we're going to try to do gargoyles a few times, and if it goes well, stop there. If not, I mean, we'll see what happens, but I feel like it's going to be fine. I just want to go to the fire link real quick. Oh, man, this guy always scares me. How could you trust that face? Like like we talked about earlier. Creepy dude. Creepy people all around. Is the gold guy here yet? I always thought he was interesting. I think he, he waits a little bit further down, right? Yeah, he's not here. Is the fire link... She cannot speak. Reinforce Estus. Yes, please. Thank you. Nope, not yet. Not yet. I mean, I feel like every time I read something, they're like, yeah, just kill that dude. Um, it'll help you in the long run. I do endurance, actually. Because I believe he gives you a pretty good ring if you kill him just outright, right? I'm trying to remember. Sorry, my memory is... Uh, it's been like... Oh, dear. Four years since I played this game? Like, really played it? But man, it's all coming back to me now. And I must say, there's probably like... Besides Tomb of Giants, which I feel like everyone hates for the most part. Um, I like most of this game. Like, there are a few parts where I'm just like, oh god, like, please, no. Even Blighttown, like, you can skip most of Blighttown, it's not a big deal. You know, and Quaylog is a fun boss to get to know and like, figure out how to fight better. Um... If anything, the one, the parts that I'm, like, least familiar with are when you get to, like, ceaseless discharge and stuff like that, but, I mean, once you get there, it's kind of, like, it's, whole, it's its own thing anyway. Like, it makes sense that you haven't practiced that as much because it's, like, end game stuff, you know? And Lost East Isolith or whatever, the, uh, the witch or whatever is not a fun... Oh, don't shoot. Repost or whatever. It's not a fun boss, I don't think. God... You get a firekeeper soul out of it. 
can always kill him later. Trade with Snuggly the Crow for the ring. Ah, true. Good idea. I forgot that those guys can, uh... Can parry you. Whoops. Well, learn something new... Every day. I guess it was just... I was thinking that because I was watching too many of Hobbs uh, run-throughs where he just has to do it quick, so he just kills him immediately. Okay. Oops. Let's get back, guys. <laughs> oh, boy. And that's the thing, too, I like about this game. We're in, uh, in our time, Stalkin playing Kingdom Hearts. We were saying, like... Or, I was saying. I spent a lot of time just venting about that game. Um, it's a fun game. It's a good, fun series. But, like, often when you die, it feels very cheap, I think. And I feel like even though... You know, there are problems in Dark Souls with, like, stuff, you know, camera and whatever. Like, there is a point at which you feel like... Like, my death there was silly and stupid and completely my fault. You know what I mean? And I feel like often that's a good thing to feel. You know what I mean? Like, whereas... Hey, guys. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Um, whereas... You know, in I do feel like in Kingdom Hearts, often it feels like it doesn't feel like your fault. Oh my god! Well, that was stupid too. So, um, yeah, like that was dumb. That was me. It wasn't the game being cheap or anything, but you know, once you get to like Birth by Sleep, and then I mean. Caitlin's heard me talk about this all the time. And the elimination of, like, revenge values and lack of iframes and all that stuff. It's just like, uh... Not that I want easy games, but I don't want cheap games. And I feel like Kingdom Hearts bosses just, like... Man, they just really get me frustrated. <laughs> More so than these bosses. Like, at least Smo and Orange Scene are really interesting to, like, get to know and try to decipher, you know, what they're gonna do. He's ready at parry kick or circle him and backstab. Okay, thanks, Tolkien. I shall remember that. If I can... Actually, this would be a point... I remember this is where I usually got a bow. And just, like, uh... Shot that guy from afar. Should've done that. Stalking, uh... You don't have to be super specific or anything, but where are you from? If you don't mind me asking. Are you, uh... Are you an American? Oh no. So this, the reach is what I love about the halberd, is you can really get like all these guys in uh, just a row. And it's really nice. Oh my god, don't kill me, don't kill me. And then this freaking guy. Oh my god. Backstab? Can you backstab this guy? I don't think so. But you can just poke him until he dies. Thank you. Okay. Jeez. It's understandable, though. I've gotten to the point in my life where I'm more concerned with the story, so I just play everything on easy. That's true. I mean, I think that's kind of like a comfortable... Like, it's nice to be in that place, because I feel like... I don't know. Like, I do agree. Like, when I was younger, I'm like, oh, I'm going to play everything on, like, extra hard. And then I'm just like, ah, why am I... Why am I putting myself through this? Like, it, unless I really, really want to, or I'm suffering with someone else, which is always kind of fun. Like, there's no, there's nothing that like motivates me to do that. You know, like I remember we played. Um, my friend and I beat Gears of War one on insane mode, and it was such like a great feeling, and we had a great afternoon doing it. So much fun, and I just really that's like one of my best gaming memories. I think is that game and that experience. But, like, sometimes, like you're saying with, you know, Kingdom Hearts, it's like, what am I doing to myself? Why am I so angry? <laughs> Maryland. Oh, cool. That's all right. We have a lot of people with uh, mucked up sleep schedules. I appreciate you being here, though, and sticking around and hanging out. It's been uh, fun getting to know you and talking and stuff. And you are obviously very knowledgeable. And I need that right now, so I appreciate your advice. It's been fun. 
But yeah, Maryland's cool. I love, uh, I mean, I know it's not necessarily representative of Maryland, but I love Hannibal, and Hannibal has a lot of stuff that takes place in Maryland, this TV show. Is this to, yeah, is this dude? Hey, hey. Yeah, man. Open it. There you go, bro. See, there's the mystery key. See you back there. Have fun. Please don't kidnap anyone. I really want to every game I play. You want to? You mean you want to play on the hardest difficulty? That's cool. I mean, I mean, it sounds like you're good. So, <laughs> I mean, that always helps as well, just to be like really, really. Uh, well practiced and you know have the thing the X factor <laughs> but uh I think I used to have it I'm not sure if I still do <laughs> I started my latest playthrough of BBS and normal and I got about as far as you were before I considered starting in um honestly I don't think I'm gonna start on easy but I think um I do think I'm going to go and play BBS and start again as Terra, because I feel like that just makes more sense. So guys, here we go. We got about 3,000 souls. I don't want to lose them, but at this point, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, I'm going to have my gold pine resin equipped, and this is going to be a fun one. Um, this is actually pretty... I like this boss fight. It's one of the first multiple boss fights that you go through. It's a good primer for... Uh, it's a good primer for Smo and Ornstein. If you can cut off one of their tails, it's a pretty good, like Stalkin was saying. Stalkin was saying earlier, it's a pretty good weapon. But uh, I do love this because it has a very like Bandai Namco. There's like a Japanese quality to it, you know, and, it, and it's like the way it looks. It reminds me of how like I feel like a lot of the games at the time, or like even like a little bit. Oh my god! Oh my god! Wrong way! Wrong thing to do! Um, it kind of reminds me of the way, like, um, like Devil May Cry looked and stuff. So. Oh, shoot. Okay, no, another one has joined the fray. And that one has fire, and this one's fairly straightforward. Uh, I think I missed the opportunity to cut off its tail, but I mean I'm not I'm not too bothered by it because I like I like my shoot I like my one that I have right now. Stop, man! I don't want to deal with this. <laughs> oh my god! But that's uh, the thing about the uh, the halberd is like the reach is just insane. There we go. <clears throat> Gargoyle Helm. Got my heart beating a little. Well, that's pretty good, guys. First try. Not not too shabby. Don't consider myself good at all in these games. I make it a point to really understand the mechanics, and that makes me dangerous. That's cool, though. Um, Stalkin, I, d I wonder, um, have you played the new God of War? Because... <clears throat> that's probably been one of the only games recently that I've felt similarly in terms of uh, the Valkyries and stuff like or even other bosses but mostly the Valkyries which are like the eight main bosses or kind of they're actually sort of side bosses you have to fight them eventually but they all have like very specific mechanics and stuff and if you learn them it's really fun like figuring it out and you feel like it feels like a great accomplishment when you do beat them that's why I like uh that's why I like God of War so much, because it's like a... Or not God of War, sorry. Dark Souls. Like, every time you win a boss fight, it feels really good. Like, the first time I beat Ornstein and Smo, I was like... I felt like I'd actually accomplished something. <laughs> you get the gargoyle tail axe by cutting the tail. Ah, the halberd is a random job. Okay. Yeah, I missed the tail. Oh, well. Not too bummed about it. But thank you. Never played the God of War games? I would say um, you don't really need to play the old ones. But I would say that if you like this and you like boss fights and a good challenge, like God of War, the new one, 
is a really good standalone game. And the story is, it's uh, self-contained enough that you won't be lost. And the, the combat, if you want to challenge, like on the harder difficulty, is really intense. Where's that dude? Isn't there a guy here? Is there a guy in here? Did I miss him? Oh, no, here. This guy always scares me. Look at, look out, what a weirdo. Greetings. I am Oswald of Kerry, the park. No fear is to like this. Come at the Learn a gesture, thanks. Well, what, what is it? Okay, bye. Probably rent it, don't want to sink 60. No, true. Though I would say, I do think it is worth it. But definitely rent it. See what you think. The combat is very nuanced, especially on like the higher difficulty. They cut out the Velka Covenant? For Remastered? That's weird. Why? Why'd they do that? Okay, we did the... That's so strange. I don't know why they would do that. Um, that's also the reason that I got this on PS4, actually. I was going to get it on PC because I would have gotten a pretty sweet discount. But I saw a lot of people saying, like, don't do that because there's a lot of, like, cheating on PC and I didn't want to be invaded by people who were just going to, like, wreck my game over and over and over, so. Is cut content that never made it into the original. Huh. Weird. Ah. Oh, these guys are back. Hey, Stalkin. Uh, if you wouldn't mind reminding me. Where did I go from now? Or where did I go from here? I'm trying to remember. Is it the sewers that I go to? It's not Sen's Fortress. That's too early. I have to go to Blight Town, right? And ring the other bell, the second bell. But playing offline will prevent that. That is true. But it's a bummer, too, because you want to have, like, fun if you want to invade or you want to summon people in, like, a normal way. That's kind of, like, a that's a fun way to do it, you know? Oh, I remember so spending so much time just farming Titanite Shards. Hey man, what's up? Well, uh, Can you reinforce my weapon? Halberd plus two. And then reinforce armor. Oh, I always thought it was weird that it considered a weapon, but... But yeah, I do think, I think the passive multiplayer was a real, was a real, um... Like, it felt like, I think that's something that this game contributed in a way, uh, something that most people don't think about when they think about the contributions of this game to, like, gaming overall. Like, I do think that's a big, pretty big deal. Like, it's a, a very interesting thing to have in this game, and, um, I think that passive multiplayer aspect is pretty, pretty sweet. There's the forest and the depths are the main directions. Um, well, I do hate the forest. So I think I'll go Depths real quick and just get there at least and then call it a night. I wish I could just like drop my souls and be like, hey, just, just kind of just store them. <laughs> just store them at, uh, in my box or something. I love... So one of my main things I was talking about... Um, I was talking about Kingdom Hearts, yeah, but also with this or also other things. Like, I appreciate that this game, you feel like you've advanced. Like, you feel like you've gotten better as it goes on. You know what I mean? Like, you feel powerful. And I feel like even games that I really, really love, like Breath of the Wild or whatever, I never felt powerful because you still, like died pretty regularly to like stupid stuff too so it's just one of those things where um, I do appreciate that even though this game is very difficult like it is it does reward you for being good and you do oh man I got backstabbed wow I've totally forgot I could do that or uh, that could happen oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my gosh that was dumb 
Souls is like its own genre. Most of them aren't nearly as good. Neo was the most disappointing. I've uh, I've heard some people really like Neo and some people don't. So um, that's too bad. Oh, what did you think? Oh, Stalkin, what do you think about Sakuro? Shadows die twice. I'm pretty psyched for that. I think it looks kind of cool. That was so dumb, guys. See once again. That was me. Like that's on me. That's not the game. That's just me being a dummy. I'm just trying to remember, how did I get to depths? Did I do Valley of the Drakes? I'm not to die in Dark Souls. Get good. Oh god. Yeah, I know, Stalkin. Give give me a break. It's my first it's my first day back. I feel like I'm doing alright. Like, it's funny because I've only died I've only died to uh these stupid minions. I haven't even died to bosses yet. I'm, th I'm sure that will come, obviously, but... Ouch. Oh, I just cracked... I, ow. I just cracked my chest real bad. Um, How the heck do we get to depths? How, how do we get to depths, guys? I'm trying to remember. I'm going the wrong way. Oh wait, I got it. It's the other door right behind. It's the other door right behind um Solaire. That's what it is. <clears throat> okay, we'll go there. I remember, I remember, I think. I've got the basement key, right? That's what we needed, so. Cool, cool. You passed a locked door. I think I think I just remembered. Ah, uh, still not. Oh wait, yeah, we, we should just level up by doing um this this stuff. Whoop! There we go. Yep, yep. Dexterity twenty. Sakura looks interesting. I have my eye on. I'm not sure it will follow the Souls formula. It might be its own thing. It does look like it. It could have its own distinct thing going on. I do I do agree. Um Hey guys, what's up? I'm kinda better than you now, so let's just skip this whole rigmarole, right? Oh no, oh no. Holy crap. Just oh my god, oh my god. A stupid lock on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is so dumb. Don't kill me, don't kill me. Oh jeez. That was really dumb. I was trying to lock on so I could run past him, but oops. That's what you get for bragging, right? <laughs> Jeez. Um. Yeah. Sakura looks cool. I mean, I'm in, I'm anything that has ninjas, like I'm so in. So ninjas, samurai, um, Japanese folklore. You know, like, that's really cool, so. Also, um, not related, but of a similar vein, Ghost of Tsushima, I was really, really, uh, impressed by as well. And I think it looks very cinematic. And not to, like, dunk on, on, um, what's it called, on, from, but I feel like their, their engine is starting to show its age a little, so, um, I thought Ghost of Tsushima looked incredible, and I really, really liked that kind of, like, two-hit samurai duel that they had. I thought that was really, really cool, so. Um, can I run back? Don't kill me, don't kill me. Oh, boy. Still on fire. Still on fire. We got it, we got it. Oh my god. Maybe not. Maybe not. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Okay. That was dumb. I think the biggest difference between DS1 and DS3 is the mobs are more likely to kill a good player in DS1, where the, mo where the boss is more likely to kill a good player in DS3. That's interesting. Here we go. My brain, guys. I still got it. Good job, brain. Also, I forgot how much I despise the depths. I have to kill... I mean, like, the... The gaping dragon is fine, but um, it's more those like weird.
petrifying frog creature things with the eyes. Like, I, ah, that. I don't like it. I'm trying to remember what armor I'd usually choose. Uh, is this even the right? Oh, yeah. Okay. And this is the duel. And there's another duel. Yeah. Hello, gentlemen. Ah, oh, beautiful. I just love, I love the level design in this game. Ouch. <sighs> That's an interesting point, I think. Because I feel, yeah, like, I do agree, the mobs in this game are pretty ridiculous. And they will just wreck you sometimes out of nowhere. And you're like, I thought I killed these guys, like, many times before. And then they'll just surprise you and be like, surprise, you suck. And uh, you'll just die, and it's awful. <laughs> it makes you. Re it really keeps your ego in check, I think, because like even even a hob on his like no hit run or whatever, like died to died to regular mobs like multiple times, or had like regular mobs kill his uh, no hit runs multiple times, and it was like very sad every time it happened, because it would just happened like seemingly at random, and he'd be like, what the hell. Ratchet of unusual size. Oh no. Ouch. Oh my god. Yeah, like this nonsense is happening right now. Like, jeez. Leave me alone. Guys, come on. You can completely avoid the basilisks. The things that curse you if you know where to go. I do remember that you can avoid them. Whether or not that's gonna happen. Whether or not I can remember specifically how to avoid them. It might be another issue. I, all I know is that I must jump... I must slide and jump a waterfall. These freaking dogs. That's what I remember. Am, am I even close? Right? And isn't there a guy in, behind a door here? There are a lot of people playing this game. I'm pretty psyched that we're like... Somebody. We're back to people playing... See, these guys. These guys have killed me multiple times. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Jump out of the way. Um, but we're back to having a bunch of people playing Dark Souls and a bunch of new people playing Dark Souls. That's pretty cool, I think. I love it. Ah, oh, berserking guy. Berserking? Berserker? I don't know what I'm saying. GG dogs. <laughs> I do feel always feel bad. I never want to kill animals, but at least it seems like they're in a better place. Somebody. Sorry, dude. I'm sorry. Also, I love like the really weird, dark, like meta kind of. Um, oh my god, meta stories that they have in Dark Souls. Like, I don't know if you ever watched. What's his name? Not Valkia. Um, some of these doors open and bandits come out, right? Or the poison knife throwers, right? Yep. Ouch, ouch, ouch. These weird acrobats. Oh my god. Um, what's his name? The guy who does the lore videos on YouTube. He's really, really good. Um, but his videos are great, and they really go a long way to show you how deep the story of Dark Souls is and like how tragic it is in a lot of ways especially I think Dark Souls 1 with a story you know obviously Art Artorius of the Abyss and all that stuff like it's pretty sad um, him and Sif and all that like always makes me bummed but you can go in here Vati Vidya that's that's him best lore in the game super relaxing voice and excellent wit I agree that guy's uh, he's great he's a great YouTuber Prepare to cry. Yeah. That Artorius one is really, really legitimately depressing. But in like a great like storytelling way. Like it's a well told story. I just love the idea that like Miyazaki I don't know if you have you heard this where it's like Miyazaki's the way he tells story is affected by um when he was younger. He couldn't read English very well, and so like he could only read most most of stuff. Uh like 
half of the words, you know, in Tolkien or whatever, so that's why he started writing stories that were, like, kind of half-told and not necessarily, um, not necessarily as obvious as other stuff, and I was like, that's really, really neat, and a different way of, god, I hate that noise, why is this grass so loud? I totally forgot about this fight, and I hate it. That's terrible. Yeah, that's why Miyazaki um, writes that way, is because he doesn't... Oh, man. Stalking this fight sucks. I really don't like it. If we die on this, I might call it tonight, just because of... Um, I do have to work tomorrow morning, so... But yeah, yeah that's why, my, why Miyazaki's storytelling is very, like, piecemeal and very like ambient it's uh environmental more than like a straight narrative so cheese it i mean i'm gonna try to cheese but okay let's see i've never used an alluring skull it may, might help oh holy crap oh my god oh my god i am what the fudge well that didn't work What a waste of gold pine. Oh, that's a bummer. All the way the hell back here. How does one cheese that fight, by the way? I'm just trying to remember. trying to remember if I can actually get all the way there without fighting anyone. Can I? Can I? Can he? Can he? Can he? Oh my god. Oh my god. Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh god. <laughs> this is probably a bad idea. Probably a bad idea. Oh dear. Jesus Christ. Uh, throwing black fire bombs over the wall to damage the boss. Oh, that's annoying. Uh, I don't want to fight my way all the way back there. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, I actually do remember that strategy. That is kind of like, that is pretty cheesy. Um, it's weird because that's the one where like, you're like, oh, this, this wouldn't be so bad if it weren't for those freaking dogs. Because they really do get you. Um, God, I love this halberd. How many black fire bombs do I even have? And stop throwing your stuff, guys. It's got what? Thirteen bombs? Oh, maybe I can do it. Okay, let's see if we can get there once. Try to cheese it, and then if not, we'll just call it a night. Because I totally forgot the tourist demon would be like right now, and I'm just, I don't know if I feel like dealing with it. God, I can't imagine anything more scary than like a dog running after you. How scary would that that'd be terrifying. Step into my office. That flipping will help you now. Capra, but yeah. Oh sorry. Did I say a different one? Taurus? Yeah. He's pretty cool, um, like a cool looking character. Oh, Retrieval. How wonderful. My 988 souls. Um, he has a really cool, or they, I should say. I don't know. Has a very cool look, though. I do remember being like, ah, that's what I love about Dark Souls as well. It's like, so much of it is so frustrating, but you're like, at least they look cool. Like, Smo and Orenstein are like, that's a great boss fight. It looks memorable. It plays memorable. There's multiple ways to play it, you know, like depending on who you kill first. It's overall just like a very memorable, good looking experience. Ooh, quadruple kill. Um, 
Yeah. So at least, you know... <laughs> I mean, I don't know what point I'm trying to make. It looks cool while you're dying and feeling sad. Uh, yeah, I don't want any of this. I feel like, honestly, I could probably wear these same things the whole time. Can I cheese it? Let's see. A lowering skull didn't work, obviously. Um, firebomb. Black firebomb. <sighs> okay. I'm trying to remember. How did I do it? Just stand... But poise, man. Ah, oh, shoot. I totally forgot about poise. Shoot. That's like the whole meta game stuff. I totally forgot. Did I just throw him through? Is that it? Like, how did I do it again? I can't even aim, right? Just throw it into the white light. If I'm cheesing it. I'm trying to remember. Does he fight? I'm wondering if... I can't remember if Hob fought the Capra Demon. After this, there's a bonfire fairly close, I think, though. So at least we'll be able to get there. Uh, da -da. Stand back from the wall and throw them over. You have to free aim. How does... How do you free aim? With a bomb. I'm trying to remember, but I can't. Oh, shoot. Oh, that's dumb of me. Kind of to do that sort of thing, or you just look up? Look up, I guess? Free aim it? I'm trying to remember what free aim is. Point your character to the right direction and aim the c up with the camera. Okay. Ah. Ooh, kill a dog. Ah, shoot. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh my gosh. Not doing the best. Oh, there we go. It's annoying because you go you go forward a little every time. Well, this is fun, at least, you know? A little, something a little different. I don't remember cheesing it before. What happened to that one? Oh, I sh shoot. I just threw my luring skull. Oh, well. Okay, guys. Uh, if this works out, cool. If it doesn't, whatever. Not that big of a deal. That's I think that's the thing I learned most of the Dark Souls, is just, like, care less. And you'll definitely be less sad and frustrated the whole time. Because, man, I remember I cared so much when I first originally played, and I'm like, I hate dying to this dumb freaking thing. And this is so much better, just not being, like, not being, uh, insane and, uh, saddened by it, you know? Whoa, what the heck? Forgot about the dog. Forgot about the dog. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, oh. I always get cornered by this freaking architecture. We talked about it. We talked about it. <sighs> oh, he does look cool, though. It's that architecture. That's a terrible fight room. That's so bad. I mean, you know, whatever. It was me again, but... God damn. That's, a te that's such a... It's one of the worst arenas I've ever fought anything in, I think, in any video game. Like, it's so... It's so painful. There's nothing good about it. It's so, like, small. And there's so many little, like, crevices that you could get stuck on. It's not... It's not fun. So I... I think there's a reason why the Kappa Damon's always been, like, one of my worst, um... Oh my god, backswing. One of my worst bosses. Like, we had we had done first try on everything else, even the gargoyles. 
But I think that's funny too, is that Dark Souls like makes you work for everything, you know, where even the uh getting back to the the bosses is kind of like an ordeal for most of the time. Like man, Ornstein and Smo getting back sucks. Um, it's not fun. I feel bad for anyone that has to do it. I watched uh, Ray play, you know, Ray Navarez, formerly of Achievement Hunter, and <laughs> it was pretty funny. He like d uh, deleted and uninstalled the game like right after he finished. At least if you play the game in a fairly straightforward fashion, like pinwheels, a really easy boss. The first three are pretty easy. Um, Gaping Dragon is pretty easy. Quaylog actually is one of those that I was surprised when I got better. is actually fairly straightforward if you know what you're doing. God. Just like breathe on this person and I'll die. But yeah, Quaylog is pretty bad. You get the boss fog and run to the right, there's a shortcut to open without beating it. And run to the right, there's a shortcut to open it without beating it. What? Holy crap. Are you serious? I can't believe that. Wow. It's funny, because you, you tell me these things and, like, they immediately come back to me. I can't believe I forgot about that. Thank you. It's locked. Wow, that's that's disappointing, but also exciting. Oh man, I can't believe that. I'm trying to remember where we are now. Oh my god. Wow. That's just... Look at that. Can't think about that too much. It'll just drive you crazy. Oh my god, this guy's... I forgot. The moss. The moss lady. Oh. Really scary. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Buy some of the moss. <laughs> yeah, anybody laughs like that, immediate red flag. Don't don't buy their moss. Stalkin, who's your favorite Dark Souls boss? If you don't mind me asking. Which one do you like the most? I would say lore wise, for me it's Artorius. And I think that boss fight is actually it might be my favorite. It's, I think it's a really good one feels like mechanically it's fun, it's not cheap, it means something story-wise, like, I think all that stuff's pretty cool. I'd also say Gwen is a fun one, because it's just, it's nice when you get to the end. And then, um, hmm, which was another one? And then Ornstein and Smo, I'll just say for, in terms of, like, feeling accomplished. I think that's the one that you, I think it's the most challenging in the game. And I feel the best after doing it. Oh my god, is that unblockable? Jesus Christ! Oh! Okay. I remember. This is what I did before. When I was... I was gonna say when I was younger. Why did I say that? Oh, do, 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 do. We got this. We got this. I don't know. Maybe not. <laughs> oh, I know what I did. I was just fun. Ah, this is fun. Okay, it's fine. Oh, jeez. Oh my God. Oh no. The hitboxes are always something that I think um, fascinate me in, um, in Dark Souls because sometimes they're like really weird. How did I, I got fall damage from that? Oh no.
Yeah, the hitboxes are strange sometimes. Sometimes you're like, did I die? Holy crap, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Oh my god. <laughs> Oop. Hey, buddy. Oh no, don't kill me. Gotcha. <sighs> okay, I got a little tingly on that one. I got a little tingly. That was scary, but worth it. I can't believe this is a... It's so frustrating. It's right there. I'm trying to remember, like, how do we open this door? To get to the depths. GG, thank you. Abyss Watchers, it ties into the lore extremely well in that music. I'm trying to remember, what is the Abyss Watchers music? Should I go back first? Is, there, is it really close or is it far away? Abyss Watchers. Are you talking about the Abyss Watchers in the Abyss? I feel like I feel like I just need to go back to the Firelink Shrine, guys. It's not worth it. <laughs> it's not worth it. Oh boy! Don't want to buy your moss. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to strangers. Open a shortcut to fire like yeah thank you <laughs> thanks I was like oh, where what do I do now um so what is it depths depths gaping dragon blight town quaylog and is that it really okay now here's the thing can I get back to fire link without dying I like at the end eventually you just like tap people and they just just die. Stop, please. Okay, we're good. Not even gonna bother with these guys. Leave me alone, please. Just don't leave it. Just, it's okay. It's okay. Just let me go. <sighs> Abyss Watchers in DS3. Okay. I don't know them. Ah. Oh, feels so good. Do not know them, because I, I still need to finish three. Let's do it one to resistance, because we're eventually going to run into some... Actually, here, let's do one more thing. Eventually we're going to run into some stuff with, um... Poison, and whatever, it's, you know, it's a whole thing, so... So, lost and dead. Okie dokie, so we got, like, what, 11,000? Level up. Let's do resistance one. Explanation, what is this? Ugh. Resistance, dexterity. Ooh, two. Hmm. Poison resist to 100. And then endurance a little bit more? Or to keep doing dex. This just changes our damage by one. Endurance. Let's do endurance. Always good to have endurance. Summons additional watch for the first stage. Oh, I actually remember seeing that. I have not played it, though. That's cool, though. This will be good. 86. Look at that. Guys, good news. Uh, Dark Souls is still a lot of fun. I love it. It's great. Great music, great fighting. Amazing bosses. Um, thank you to Detox Bunny. Who's our other? We got three, three followers today. I believe it was Detox Bunny. Pro tip: you can parry and back them. Really? Huh? I always like when you can parry. Like learning that you can parry Gwen is such a, such a, <laughs> such a relief, right? When you fight Gwen in DS1. One, one sec. Let me just check my my streamlabs real quick to properly thank everyone that followed us today. Okie dokie, guys. You can't see me, but you can hear me. Thank you to the Toke Zen Detox Bunny. And that was it today. But we had a lot of people. Thanks to 99 for resubbing. Caitlin resubbed too recently. So thank you a lot, guys. Always fun. Always great talking. 
everyone else that popped in. I appreciate you. And I hope you come back to the channel. Stalkin, I really enjoyed hanging out with you tonight. Um, I hope you return soon. And thank you, Caitlin. Always fun to be part of the sub, uh, the, sub the hunt. Um, but yeah, guys, we got a Discord. Um, Caitlin, if you could put up that link. If you don't mind, that'd be great. I don't have it on me. Oh, jeez. Way ahead of me. Um, but yeah, thanks, Stalkin. That was a lot of fun. I enjoyed talking to you. I love talking about Dark Souls. Everybody else, 99, thank you again for your sub. Caitlin as well, recently, and everyone that followed. And we'll be back with some more Dark Souls, more God of War, and then get back into Overwatch when the event starts. So, uh, yeah, thanks, guys. Have a great night, and I will see you very soon. Okay, bye.